Good morning, modern statters. It's raining out again this morning, 39 degrees out. I think we got another rainforest in the US now. This is how it was last year too. I'm hoping that this year's not the same. Is that you, Willow? Hope, oh, morning. Willow, be nice. Come on and hope it don't blossom. How you doing, Willow? Oh, you still got some more time. I've eaten quite a bit of that kelp already. What are you doing, girl? Huh? You're all over the place this morning. The greenhouse chickens been doing good in New York City. I locked them up last night, but I'm curious to see if there's any stragglers that were hiding under New York City when I locked them all up. You never know if they all go in or not the first few nights. <laughs> there you are. Caught ya. That's not bad. Only one. Figaro. You're claiming the barn already is yours? Huh? You claiming the barn is yours? Come on, Pluto. This way. I want to know how this happens. We got a cover three feet off the ground that gets moved every day, and there's a worm in it. How do we get a worm in the top of that cover? If you know, leave it in the comments down below. I have no idea. Oh, I can't wait till you guys are ready to go out. It'll be soon. on about half of their body. What do you think, Pluto? Have a good day at school. Stay okay. dry. Okay. Love you. Love you. I like the sweatshirt. You like the new sweatshirts? Yeah. We got some new sweatshirts made up in green with tan writing. I'll put a link in the description down below. We sell our shirts and sweatshirts on our website. So we got red, blue, green, and a 
gray slash black Heather sweatshirt, and then we got men's and women's t-shirts. And kids. And kids, you're right. And the women's are nice fitted shirts too. Come on, stay over here. Tomorrow morning we're going to pick up our piglets. I gotta figure out where we're putting them. I'm not 100% sure yet for a couple of reasons. I don't know how big the pigs are and how good they will do being completely outside with a shelter like this or if they need to go in the greenhouse with how small they are. And I checked the weather for this coming week and we got a lot of rain in the forecast. So I gotta figure out the best place to put the piglets. So today I wanna make sure two spots are ready for them when we bring them home tomorrow, depending on where we need to put them. This area in here has hog panel fence. So the paneling is really tight down low so the little piglets can't get out. Right Figaro? I have this corner set up with electric fence right here. We have the electric fence inside this pen because we train our pigs to the electric fence before we let them out on pasture and before we use the pasture pig mobile. I want the pigs to learn to respect this little wire right here. We're getting the piglets from a farm and they've been inside a barn their whole life and they do not know electric fence. And it only takes two days to a week of training them to electric fence and then you can put them out and keep them in a huge pasture, a small pasture, just with two strands of wire. If we use this pen, the wire got cut. Our ground wire is there, but there isn't a hut wire going to the fence over here. So I'll have to move this over here and run the wire there. This pen is the pen we raised our pigs on pasture in last year. I like to move it around to a different spot on the property every year. But with the weather we've been having, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I put the gate on wrong. There we go. We know we got a good secure spot to put the piglets now and they can't escape. I don't want to move the electrical fence box just yet. Let's go check out the greenhouse and make sure that's set up. So they have plenty of hay in here to dig around and to root. So they'll have plenty of stuff to do in the greenhouse if we put them in the greenhouse. In the past, I've raised our piglets in the greenhouse for about a week to two weeks, and I'll put a little strand of electric fence in this corner and let them get trained to the electric fence there. Let's check the outside perimeter and make sure it's secure enough for the piglets. We have two layers of wire, which has always kept them in on the sides. The back, we might have to double check. Yes, I just need to secure this corner a little bit better. And then this would be a set for the pigs. I'm hoping the piglets don't have to go in the greenhouse. I'm hoping they can go over there. So this week, sometime we can get our meat bird chicks in the greenhouse and get them out of the basement. We have two areas we can put the piglets in if we need to. <sighs> that makes me feel better about going and getting the piglets tomorrow. I'm gonna grab the pitchfork. Living in a northern climate like we do, you gotta be on your toes and have different areas and different ways you can have your animals in the early spring. Makes it a little difficult, but as long as you plan ahead and have stuff set up from the year before still, it's possible. I've set up my pig pens this time of the year and I've been digging into frost trying to get the post in the ground. So <laughs> I'm glad we still have this pen set up. It's not in the spot I want to use it this year, but hope it dope. Get out some of this nastiness.
I was cleaning out the IPC tote and noticed, oh, look at all these eggs. There's a nest of eggs. Those must be from last year. Ew, that was all milky and gross inside. Yep, those are old eggs. The chickens that were in the winter greenhouse, they were free ranging all last fall. And that must be where they were hiding some of their eggs on us. <laughs> oh, the things you can find on your farm. We have plenty of fresh hay and straw in the outdoor kitchen for the piglets, so we don't gotta worry about that. But I need to find our cage that we transport them in and make sure that's good to go. Oh, there it is, we just got some stuff sitting on top of it. Clear that off. We got a tarp there, so if it's raining tomorrow, we can cover the cage. These are our water jugs. These come in really handy for lugging water out to the animals in the summertime, especially if you get the lids farm. Alright. The last time we used this cage was when we brought Willow to get bread. Is that in December? I believe it was this past December. So that's ready to go. I like to make sure we have everything set up and we know where it is before we, before the day we go to get the animals. So that makes me feel a lot better. One of the things I love about this lifestyle is there's so much opportunity to create stuff. I just love creating stuff with my hands. I think we were created to create stuff. <sighs> but I got... <clears throat> Some rough sun 2x4s I saw lying around on this side, kind of like a fence to protect the waterer. It gave me an idea, let's do that on these other two sides. And then we can use this for grain storage and whatever else we want to store up there. And the pigs won't be able to get to it. The pasture pig mobile's got a nice front porch to it. <laughs> the only thing I have left to do is I want to put some slats going across the ramp so the pigs will have traction when they're going up it. The reason we have two different chicken flocks is last year we had one group of chickens that was always breaking free from New York City and it was the white chicken that was the ringleader. You know what I just saw? <laughs> that darn white chicken guys is broken free again. Why don't you like New York City, ma'am, huh? You're all wet. 
I don't know what to do with this white chicken. I said to myself yesterday when I put her in New York City, I wonder if she's gonna get out. I'm hoping it's just her that gets out because like I said last year, there was what, five or six of them? And then they hatched out all those barred rock chicks out in the pasture. What should we do with the white chicken? <laughs> Leave it in the comments down below. <sighs> Getting a lot of use out of your umbrella this week. Yeah. <laughs> the goats are actually out. Oh, we see the chicken. There's a loose chicken. Yep, that crazy white chicken keeps getting out. Oh yeah, that is the crazy white chicken. That's the white one that got loose last year. Yep. And then that, all the other ones followed her. Look okay, at the puddles are back. Ah. Uh, I think I need my fold. Girls want some more hay? I know you do. Hey Hope. You want some hay? You gotta stay out here for a minute, I'll be right out. There you go. What are you chickens doing? You're all wet. I bet the ducks are loving it. You love it playing in the rain? Splish splash, you're taking a bath. Oh man, somebody knocked over the water dish. I hope that doesn't mean the rain barrel's empty. Oh, which chicken did that? I don't know guys, is it empty? Uh, yep, the rain barrel's empty. Oh. <laughs> I've never had a chicken knock that over yet. Here, we had some bread go bad. You don't want it. Well, on the positive note, the rain barrel is getting filled back up right now. Seventeen eggs. The other night I cooked up some steaks and I sauteed up some peppers, mushrooms, and onions in a nice maple glaze. We had some left over and I thought they would make a great topping for a pizza tonight. We got the homemade pizza dough right here. I like making our own pizza sauce. I start with a can of tomato sauce. I add in a splash of maple syrup. few pinches of Italian seasoning. I like preheating our cast iron pizza skillet. I find it gives us a really nice crust that we like on the bottom of the pizza.
then it's always, how much sauce do you put on the pizza? Gina likes more sauce than I do. I usually find I use just about the whole can of pizza sauce. Oh, I thought we had more leftover mushrooms and onions, but it'll have to do. We must have ate quite a few of them the other night when we made it. They're delicious. It looks delicious, but it smells even better. I baked the pizza for 15 minutes without the cheese on it, and then I bake it. Take it out, put the cheese on it, and bake it for another three minutes. Good old editing, just like that. The pizza's cooked on the first step. Oh, looks delicious. Tomorrow we go and get the piglets. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. This just makes me feel like, okay, it's finally springtime. We're getting the piglets. They're coming onto the farm. That's the sign of better weather is gonna be here. It's usually how it goes. We'll see how that is. Sorry that the audio seemed a little off, if you guys noticed that or not. I was trying out a new microphone for one of the cameras, and believe it or not, it does a lot better without the auxiliary microphone so we won't be using that again thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys i am excited to go get the piglets tomorrow we all are and we'll see you right back here in that video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom <laughs>